project was together. I went out uh, last summer to East Town to go collecting for some egg masses, and then I noticed that a lot of them have some of these bleaching. They're normally kind of like all dark purple when they're <laughs> when they're alive, but for some reason, like I said, a bunch of these have been bleached. So I talked to uh, our professor about it, and then we ended up getting a group to go out and look at them. So East Town is on uh, in Orcas Island, so it's it's about an hour uh, boat ride up uh, the sound from the other side of the island. But when we were there, we also saw a whole bunch of the bleaching again, but then we saw some green. We also saw some other kinds of lesions. So this is a sand dollar that has had some kind of predation on it. And the lesions seem to have green stuff growing on it, probably algae. But if you look on the back, it also has some parts where it's loose its spine. And you see it. <laughs> and so we were really interested in finding out what is causing this disease. So we brought a bunch of ten dollars back to our lab. Hi, I'm Jamie, and I'm going to start talking about the transmission experiments that we started. So we can see if this is actually a disease and if it transmits from one ten dollar to the next. So we can take a look at our setup in my notebook. We have three controls, which are three healthy sand dollars. Then we have three of the experimental ones, which consists of one diseased sand dollar and two healthy sand dollars. And they're touching right now to see if the disease will go from one to the next. And we'll be checking over them um, over the next few days. And then in two of our spare boxes over here, we're just looking at the smaller ones. We have the babies. We have a couple healthy and a number of disease, so we'll just be keeping an eye on them over the next few days. And we'll keep the blog updated with results. Hi, I'm Amy, and I'm going to tell you about the histology part of the experiment that we're going to run. So histology is really useful in order to look at the tissues and see if there are uh, masses or accumulations of bacteria or something within the tissues of the organism. However, with our sand dollars, we have never really thick calcium rich shell that we need to get through. And it's a little bit harder than your usual scalpel to just make sections and send the samples off for histology. So what we're going to have to do with these guys is fix them in formalin first, then in ethanol, and then we're going to um, use some sort of calcium dissolving agent so that we can actually section them and send them for histology. Then we'll be able to examine the tissues and see what um, microscopic uh, agents of disease there might be. Hi, I'm Jenna. Um, so the third thing that we're doing is we are trying to culture um, bacteria or basically anything that we might be finding within the sand dollars. And what we're going to be doing is taking um, swabs from the inside of healthy uh, sand dollars, ones that have signs of bleaching, and also ones that have bleaching and lesions on them. And as you can see on an example plate here, we're going to do swabs of the inside of the organism. Um, swabs from the outside, and we're going to be doing this on both marine otter plates, which are these clear ones here, and then also uh, TCBS plates over here, and these are used to look specifically for Vibrio species, so we can maybe either rule out whether there's Vibrio present or not. Um, however, as Sammy very um, nicely pointed out, only with less than 1% of bacteria are actually culturable. So who knows if we're even going to get anything with this, but we figure it's worth a shot to try to see what's going on with these guys.